Have you ever felt the sense of being lost when you travel somewhere? Don't panic, it's perfectly normal. In this video, we will be giving you a detailed Budapest travel guide. Keep listening, even if you've already visited Budapest, you may hear of something you haven't seen before. Moving around in Budapest is inexpensive and straightforward. We'll be going through everything you need to know, whether you're traveling with children or looking for the most incredible nightlife spots. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and click on the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. Now let's get straight to it. If you've never been to Budapest, you're probably asking yourself, why should I visit? What makes this place worth the trip? Firstly, Budapest is a pedestrian-friendly city, with Buda on the west bank of the Danube and Pest on the east. You can either spend a few days seeing the key attractions or take a more extended trip to immerse yourself in the native culture. There are so many paths to choose from in this magical city. You can wonder at the beautiful detailing on the 19th and 20th century structures as you take a walk downtown. You can choose to discover the city's newest sites, particularly the modern art, style and design sectors. Alternatively, you can join the locals in their long-standing cafe culture in their vibrant drinking establishments, or even take a trip to the famous hot thermal baths which further add to the city's charm. Things to do in Budapest Budapest is best experienced on foot, with lots of espresso stops along the way, while admiring the city's most prominent structures and lovely districts. We recommend you begin by taking a stroll through Buddha Castle, then down one of the many hidden stairwells to reach the Danube River. Next, we recommend you continue on to the center of Pest by taking the Sicheni Chain Bridge and walk north along the Danube Promenade. You should end up at the Holocaust Monument, entitled Shoes on the Danube Bank, which gives remembrance to the 3,500 people who lost their lives during the Arrow Cross Terror. Not too far past the monument is Hungary's largest building, the Neo-Gothic Parliament, where you can take a guided tour inside. It features over half a million precious stones and over 40 kilos of gold. After this, we recommend you return south to Sabat Shag Ter Park to St. Stephen's Basilica, where you can climb up the dome for a breathtaking view. Continue taking your stroll up Andrassy Avenue, which is surrounded by trees to visit the Opera House, as well as a slew of historic mansions and cafes. End at Hero Square and City Park, two of the city's most popular attractions. Visit one of the many Budapest baths. Budapest is known for its thermal baths, nourished by natural hot springs in the area. While it isn't a must-do activity, it isn't quite as plentiful or beautiful in person as it appears on paper, it is a fascinating and unique experience. Just bear in mind that it's more like going to an indoor pool than a spa. According to what you're searching for, there are many various bath options to pick from. Here are a few alternatives for thermal baths. Galert Spa This spa dates back nearly a century on the Buddha side of town, near Memento Point and the Liberty Statue. Suchany Thermal Bath Budapest's most enormous thermal bath located within City Park. Rudas Thermal Bath One of the city's oldest thermal baths with a contemporary rooftop pool. Kirili Thermal Bath This conventional bath hasn't been changed in a while, but it's a little less crowded and a little less expensive. Where to stay in Budapest? When visiting Budapest for the first time, you should stay in the city center, District V. Budapest's most central district is an affluent neighborhood with stunning architecture, cafes and restaurants suited for all travelers. You'll also be near several shopping boutiques, as well as some of the city's most popular tourist avenues, Varshi and Deek Ferenc. If you're looking for a hotel in Budapest 5th, you can rest assured that you'll be in good hands. The entire 5th district, unlike other Budapest areas, is a secure bet. Convenience, fun, attractiveness and safety are all guaranteed. Overall, Budapest is a highly safe city. Food and drink to try in Budapest. A Hungarian dish is much more than paprika and ulash, the country's most famous soup. Soups, entrees such as chicken paprikas and porkolt, and sweets like strudel and the crepe light palak sinta can be found in Budapest traditional restaurants. However, the city's eating scene has evolved in recent years, and visitors can now expect lighter, more modern interpretations of Hungarian food. Hungarian wine is not widely available elsewhere, so enophiles will be able to try a variety of new types, including indigenous reds like kadaka and the sweet tojak asks. 
Culture in Budapest Budapest is a combination of the old and the contemporary, with ruined bars bringing life to abandoned buildings and murals brightening up unattractive 7th district walls, as well as the often hard to find galleries and little design shops. We recommend you visit museums like Kisterim, Telep and Tremira Project, or the Ludwig Museum of Contemporary Art for a sense of the city's art scene. Hungarians are also fond of their musical legacy, which includes past and contemporary stars like Bartok, Kodali and Liszt, as well as Marta Sebastian, Ivan Fischer and Andras Schiff. Attend a performance at the Franz Liszt Academy of Music, the Hungarian State Opera House or Mupa, which was recently refurbished. Alternatively, you may see local artists at the Budapest Jazz Club, attend a concert on board the A38 ship docked on the Buda side of the river, or spend the evening dancing to live folk bands at the Tajants. Every August, Budapest also holds Sujet, one of Europe's most famous pop and rock music festivals. Shopping Budapest has a wide range of unique items to carry home, from local fashion to valuable antiquities. WAMP, the city's monthly or more frequently design market, is worth a visit if you want to see all of the city's most significant designers in one area. If you're looking for antiques, head to the enormous Xeri Piac on the outskirts of town. Fark Mixer Utka, Budapest's antique district near Parliament, is well worth a visit, with its streets lined with high-end antique shops, modern art galleries, and a couple of shops selling Hungarian folk art. Of course, a vacation to Budapest isn't complete without a visit to the Central Market Hall, which is known for its architecture as well as a large variety of tasty gifts. How to get around Budapest While there are a few direct flights from the United States to Budapest, connecting through Vienna and other European airports is simple. The drive from the airport to the downtown center takes 30 to 45 minutes, and you can take public buses, personal shuttles, taxis, or a train that stops at Nugati Station in Pest. Central Budapest is small enough to see most of it on foot. However, a modest but reliable subway system is Europe's second oldest metro system. Only London's has been in operation for longer. For the time being, the bike share system is best avoided, as too many tourists have reported issues, including difficulties getting their deposits reimbursed. Simultaneously, several cab businesses have developed a shady reputation. If you need a car, ask your resort or the restaurant where you're eating for a recommendation. When's the best time to go to Budapest? Autumn is probably the best time to visit Budapest, with long bright days that feel like an extended summer and others that are crisp and refreshing. The outdoor cafes and bars are bustling in July and August, though tourists should expect some days to be unbearably hot and humid. Off-season prices are available in the winter and spring, and a warm bowl of goulash or a soak in a hot thermal bath is possibly even more memorable than the weather is cold and dismal. Budapest Travel Tips If landing into the city, use the particular taxi line in the arrival area. This allows you to enter your ultimate destination and obtain a fixed fee at the time of booking. The cost of getting into the city center should be around $25. In Budapest, Uber is not accessible. While you can walk a considerable amount of the city, public transport in Budapest is relatively inexpensive, safe and convenient. Single fare tickets and 24-hour passes are available. If you want to save data on your phone, you can install Google Maps, which includes my map ahead of time. Do not take a taxi on the road. They are well known for overcharging visitors. If you're going to a local thermal bath, remember to bring a bathing suit and sandals. Some must-see destinations near Budapest. Budapest is a fantastic base for travelers because it is close to several of Hungary's central locations and can be visited in a day. Budapest is combined with excursions to Bucharest, Romania and the scenic city of Prague, Czech Republic, on a trip to Eastern Europe's capitals. Prague, like Budapest, is crowned with a stunning hilltop castle. That's all there is for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below, and we will be happy to address them. Stay tuned to designing your travels for the next video, and until then, safe travels!